I feel like it's time for us to have a deeper talk than normal. With Sean, our plan has always been to be one and two. So let's pretend I'm 11. I got to figure out a way to get from here to there quickly. We got to be number one and number two. I don't care the order. And we've had that plan over and over and over again. I want to kick your ass just like you want to kick my ass. So our friendship is based on that. Perfect. So we opened up our own business, Midwest Streetcars. We worked side by side to make our cars as fast as they could be. It's a 93 Fox body. And we helped other drivers. We rescaled it, changed the suspension. We wanted to win on the street as well. Man, we'll roll to the top together. Ain't nobody else got anything for us. No. Last season, he barely even cracked the top five. My boy right there. I, you nice know, job. I never beat you before. Nice job. I know Sean's not oblivious to the fact that he's losing races and he's not making a run for number one. Every time he loses, he spends less time at the shop. I don't know how to deal with Sean doesn't care about being number one or winning races anymore. Normally, at the beginning of every season, you know, there's a part where I scream at everybody, if you don't think you got a number one car, you shouldn't be here. But then when the guy that I know has a number one car that I share a shop with doesn't seem to mind not being a number one car or even losing that much. Basically, what I'm asking is, are you over the racing thing? Because it seems like you've lost that winning attitude, the swagger. Like, I don't want to alienate you or push you away but it it is tough to share a shop it's, with two different sides of the spectrum it's inevitable when man. there's one guy who does the things he needs to do for his family and his life and his future and then he does racing on the side and then there's another guy who doesn't care about anything in the world but racing after a while though then it starts to breed resentment because i am here 24 hours a day it seems like this is a conversation that's needed to happen for a while. Uh, I've kind of been waiting on this. Uh, there's something missing in my life right now. I love racing. It's my passion. It's what I love doing, but so is my family, you know? And my family is definitely gonna come first. Chief's way of all or none, being at the shop 24 seven, it definitely makes him a really good racer, but that's not me. I can't be here 24 seven and uh, I need to figure out what I wanna do and come up with what's good for me and for my life. The last thing I wanna do is to hold you up from being happy or excited. And, there, and there's a reason that I haven't been up here a whole lot. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't wanna come up here. I don't wanna look at the car. I don't wanna be up here. And to be honest with you, man, I've been thinking about this a lot. It may be best if I leave, you know? It will push me more into doing my own thing instead of doing your thing. Maybe that's what I need, is to not depend on somebody else. I think I need to take everything to my house and work, you know? Closer to home, I get it. I at least have to try that. I think if we keep going the way that it's going right now, there may not be a chance that we can stay friends. I don't want us to resent each other. I don't want you to resent me. I don't want to resent you. And I think that if we make this change, then that won't happen. I just want you to be happy, and what you've been doing doesn't seem to make you happy. It's it's not, man. We'll be all right. Do you, I whatever know. it is, yeah. just be happy. It's been weird around here for a while because Sean hasn't been here. I've always still had that one moment at the end of the night. As I'm walking out the door, there's always my car and Sean's car. And I always say, as I'm turning the lights off, good night, Crow. We'll do it again tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Muranova. Hopefully, Sean will be here tomorrow. Now it's just good night, Crow. It just sucks. Tails. Heads. Is it heads? Let me see it. Oh. I'm going to take the left. <laughs> hey, it's a move for you to put me over hey, the right. I'll probably lose because I did it, but I'm still going to take the left. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, that line sucks. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm not real sure that it could start off any worse. Uh, another list shakeup, another first round I draw Ryan. Uh, there's not really any easy races, but I'm not sure if there's any tougher races either. The Fireball Camaro is arguably one of the fastest cars out here. So we're gonna put my little bit of tuning skills to the test right here and see how we do. This line right here is my timing. I got a little bit more timing pulled out and I got it pulled out out here all the way to where I lost the tire last night testing. This is what I had last night. I'm shortening the shift so I don't lose the tire right here and I also pulled a little timing out of it. So it should be good. If you go number one again on the second list shakeup, it'd be pretty <laughs> It would be cool. I don't consider Murder Nova like a really easy draw. You know, him and I ended up testing the same spot a couple nights ago. I seen his car make some passes. It looked pretty good. I'm not gonna take him lightly. But on the other side of that, there is the fact that I won the coin toss. So I'm gonna stick him in the bumpy lane, which I know is gonna be difficult for him, especially considering Chief's not helping him anymore. You know, he leaned on Chief a lot for tuning stuff. He's doing it on his own. Maybe this is the best time to get a hold of him. <laughs> I do feel like there's more pressure on me right now. There's more pressure on me to step up to the plate for me to shine. I'm gonna be doing this on my own. Every pass I make, I'm gonna be trying new things that I haven't tried before. And some of them's gonna work, some of them's not gonna work. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Do what you do. My goal this season's pretty simple, man. I got a number one car. I feel like everybody on the list knows I got a number one car. I just gotta prove it. Are we ready? Yes, yes. Yep. The call down there. Fireball by a semi. I tried new tires. I spun. I had to pedal it a couple of times. And if you make any mistakes against him, you're going to lose. So I really thought that these new tires were going to give me a step up. But right now, I obviously don't know how to use them. We're going to go ahead and put the old tires back on that we have had success with before and see how we do. Good look. You ever see him? Nope. Hey, you left on <laughs> Thank God I was able to outrun him this time. At least I'm guaranteed a spot in the top five. All right, well, let's see what the data looks like. Good run. What are you going to do, man? Yeah. Boy, it was upset, though. It shook like a Racing the car out of my own shop, not getting any help, is it's, it's going to force me to be a better tuner. It's going to force me to check everything on the car. And hopefully, uh, I'll get good enough and learn how to make the right decisions. Farm Truck and Asian called. They're putting on a daily driver race, and every daily driver I've been involved in, I've always took the man van. Yeah. But they changed one rule, and uh, we're going to be on a hard tire this year. Mm. I think that we have the perfect car, and it's sitting right behind me. So the orange Chevelle is my son Aiden's car. We've been building it for a while, and we decided to race it instead of the man van. Uh, on a hard tire, it doesn't make near the power that the man van makes, and hard tire, on a no prep street, the car that makes the least amount of power has a good shot of winning this deal. So you really think Farm Truck and Asia is gonna let me drive in the daily driver race? No, that's not what I said. I don't, I absolutely don't think they're gonna let you drive in the daily driver race. Are you got a license? No, but I can drive. I agree. Like the car was built for me to drive. This is my first car ever. And I think I should drive in the first daily driver race that this thing's gonna be in. Man, hey, that is that is that is all good, good facts. What about your driver's license? It's just, it's just a piece of paper. I can I can drive better than most. It's a laminated piece of paper from can, the state, though. I can drive better than most 16-year-olds in Oklahoma. I look, I'm not doubting that. Like, I don't care if we win. I just care that it's out there. It makes a good pass, and we can get some stuff like to know it. We need to take this car to the next level. I'll be honest with you, man. I, I don't know what everybody else is bringing, but on that tire, it's gonna be the equalizer. Okay. So, feel like we got a shot. The wait is finally over. The daily grind is going down tonight. We've got everything from all-wheel drive Jeeps. We've got dually pickup trucks. We even have exotic cars like Porsches involved. 
But at the end of the day, the equalizer is that tire, a 300 Treadwear hard tire. What is this? That is a tire. Dang, that's a big radial, isn't it? Yeah, that's what's supposed to be on it. So before we go on this long cruise to get to the spot, me and Farmer are going to go over all these cars with a fine tooth comb. And if we see any funny business and you don't pass tech, you're out. Let's this... make sure that this thing is legal. Uh, Already, I see something illegal. What do you see? What? Aftermarket zip tie. Oh, you see that? What is this, sir? Zip tie. Huh? Wait till we uh, turn that into forensics. I cannot Stop confirm back. or deny that that is illegal. <laughs> well, no cage. No cage. Not much race car stuff. You got a little bit, but the important no... thing is you got the tire. We're asking everyone to turn off their traction control. And everybody's going to definitely do that. Yes. <laughs> on the honor system, yeah. for sure. All right, so, dude, you got two power? You got nitrous and a pro charger? No, it's, that's nothing. <laughs> nothing. No, it's nothing? That's nothing. I don't know about you, Asian, but I think we have a pretty good field tonight. A pretty good field that's uh, feeling out the rules a little too much. <laughs> yeah, she chose Caddy Jack with this. I chose the crow with that one. We're daily right now. <laughs> Some of them are bending them a little. <laughs> Daddy Dave. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of race car stuff on this. Get out of here, Dave! Ah, Dave, get out of here! Let's start the cruise. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for coming to the Daily Grind, the third one. And we appreciate everybody showing up. Thank you. So coming up is Chief versus Murdoch's dad. Oh, oh, yeah. Who's going where? You got to pick a he lane. Wants the what lane? He wants the middle okay. lane. So here we are, first round of Farm Truck and Asian's Daily Grind. Oh, damn it! OK. And I'm racing my dually, which I call Big Rick. Unfortunately, I drew Sean's dad, Richard. Richard has always been a big part of Sean's racing career, and since I've been best friends with Sean for almost 20 years, Richard's been a big part of my life and my racing career as well. It doesn't feel good anytime you have to race somebody who's been so supportive of you over the years, but at the same time, he's driving a Mustang, and that's his fault. Now, nothing against Murdanova's dad, but I want Chief to win. Why? Because, because then Kamikaze and Chief oh, could draw each other. That's good. I told him that he'd outrun that deal. Big Chief and Big Rig with the win. <laughs> big Chief in the Big Rig for the win. I came out here with my race car in my trailer behind my dually. And when I got here, I figured I might as well have a little fun, unload the dually, and race it in the daily grind. It's a 12,000 pound, one ton dually pickup truck. It has no business racing. But every one of my vehicles has business racing because I'm in it. So after beating Richard, I think I might win the whole damn thing. <laughs> damn it, don't honk that horn. Yeah, yeah, you, you got it, you, you got, got it. it. You got it. You got it. You know, I'm still I don't want nobody to see my sandals, you know? My flip flops. I left the man van at home, and I'm here with Aiden Chevelle. I know Aiden snuck over and talked to Farm Truck to try to talk him into letting him drive it. It's Derek left lane. Aiden right lane. Did you say Aiden? Yeah, I did. OK. I'm Aiden. But you're not racing. Aiden, Aiden can I race? Yes, you can race someday. <laughs> he's 14. He's not old enough to drive in the crews, so he couldn't race by the rules. I know he's bummed, but he still had a good time, and he's still stoked to watch me race his car. Going up against Derek in his Hellcat Helenor, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to give it all it's got, and uh, I think it'll be a good race. Down. It was 
cracking off like a breakfast cereal. <laughs> it didn't sound great. That was a close one. What'd you got? Off and race. Derek Travis by a fender. Derek, Derek Travis, Travis by a fender. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. So the light goes off. I left. I know I was out on him. I had a lead for most of the race, and he clipped me and just barely came around me at the at the finish line. Yeah! Hey, can we do the coin flip now? <laughs> I got Doc, the rematch, and everybody was waiting for that, because the last coin flip got pretty heated. Who's calling it? Um, I'll, I'll call. Is I'll that right? Oh. I'll Call. What? No, I'll call. What? I'll call. What? Oh, wait a minute. So Y'all are fighting over who's calling? I guess. What? But Chief and I have been working closely together this week on my car, and I think we got it figured out for this sketchy S street. Tonight looks totally different from the last time we were out here. We've already seen a few good races in a row. It's good to see that everyone's starting to figure it out, but we can't let up now. I need everyone to keep pushing themselves on every single pass. By the time we do America's List, it's going to be hard to pick who we're going to take because everybody's kicking ass. You know what I mean? Let's have a good, clean coin flip, guys. Go on the light. No, you can call it. Go for it. Oh, oh, different strategy here. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I want you to call it. <laughs> I just got in your <laughs> head. Get in your head, dog. Got in your <laughs> head. What's that? What lane do you I'll want? take this right lane. <laughs> You'll take the right lane? I'll right take the left lane. We don't have to make a coin toss. And you two <laughs> are so weird. Pull, pull me in first so he can't about any kind of burning down and your nitrous car just get on the trans brake when it's time to go that's I don't all you gotta do problem. it's one job in that car how bad do i want to beat lutz it's pretty personal i'm he's still about that alleged burn down i felt like i squashed it i said my piece he knows the rules i was within the rules so i got doc the rematch and everybody was waiting for that everybody's waiting for the coin flip you know so because the last coin flip last week got pretty heated. Who's calling it? Um, I'll, I'll call. Is that right? Oh, no, I'll what? call. What? No, I'll call. What? We'll call. What? No, wait a minute. So Y'all are fighting over who's calling? I guess. What? He's so weird. You know what? Yeah. It just seems He's like, weird. honestly, it just seems like when it comes to you, for whatever reason. He don't like me. He just goes opposite of anything you say. He don't you know want to I mean? lose to me. Ever. It's weird. He's so What's weird. But then the burn down thing, anytime I race him, it's always going to be in the back of my mind. Now going into this, I have all the confidence in the world. Let's do it. With Jeffrey tuning the car and Chief watching and helping, we're a team to be beat right now. Right, baby. Right. We got right lane Jeff Lutz by a bus. Jeff Lutz by a big orange bus. I bet that coin flip gets weirder next time. Caught a loss against Lutz. That really burns. That really hurts. Really, really bad. Because I know he went, woo! Let off the button, never saw him. Well, in this case, he was right. He made a good hit. That's all I can say. I didn't. Hey. If you're asking my opinion, I know you're not. I think the road's better now than it was when you raced. We got Chief next. As long as I can get off the starting line, we can get down the road with some power. If I could pull off a W against the boss man, Chief, it would make the L versus Lutz more palatable. Thank you, guys. I love you.
is it? Who is it? No, oh, that was a bad one. Let's go. We need you. He's out. He's not okay. What the f do you mean he's not okay? What happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on, slow down. Stay calm. Doc, okay? He's coming to the doc. Whoa, 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 can you tell me your name? James Love. That's it? Yep. Love. Thank God. Okay. Can you tell me if anything hurts? Nothing hurts. OK. What the Hey, He's awake. What? What the Do you know who you're racing? Nope. What kind of car do you have? 1970 Monte Carlo. Hell yeah. Yeah! 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 OK, now let's settle down. OK, now we're just going to we're just gonna go up here just a little. What's up? Hey. That? You want to get This is real? Yep, this is real. Yeah. This is the I already released let it, it all. Let us know if it hurts. You rung your bell a little bit, buddy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There we go. You OK, buddy? <laughs> I'm guessing this was bad. It's pretty bad. Not great. No, it's good. You're still here. Yeah. yeah. It's You're it's talking to us. That's really good. I did, dude. All I, you know, I just wanted to be able to go down. The whole world's going to roads. They're all racing on streets. That's all I wanted us to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. I just wanted uh, us to be able to do it, you know? I know, but it just, it just, like, when things like this happen, it's yeah. like, I, but you know me, I just wanted to, I said, I want to go, what's changed, what's different? Because Doc has not thank, crashed that car like that ever, so but, what's but, different? Thank God Doc is, is okay, but let's be real, like, he, when you're in the grass, we, you got to get out of it. You got to throw the parachute, you, you, know you got to get out of it, you got to do the right move, you know? I can't help but feel a bit responsible for all this, making the guy stay here in Nebraska and force him to go down the cold road every night. Maybe they weren't ready. Like, at the end of the day, look what happened. We lost another OG car, and somebody who's been in Doc's shoes, I know what it's like to lose everything, and it just makes me wonder, why are we doing this, and is it worth it? You trying to slow this deal down so it'll rain? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't be scared, Sorry. Man. Look, at it's going to happen. Be it's going to happen, whether it's tonight or, you know. I know. You're going to kick right, my ass let's off. do it. I'm good with him calling it. OK. Heads. Heads. OK. We know what we're doing, right? Yep. You're going right, Absolutely. I'm going left. Okay. Absolutely. How long till you're ready? I'm, I'm, I'm good now. OK. So I don't care. two minutes or three minutes, I'll come rolling through here. Let's get it over with. <laughs> the rain. Let's do it. I'm ready. We know that the rain is moving in, but Sean and I are trying to hurry up and get this race off before it gets too wet. The road is really good right now from the passes I've seen the other guys make. And if Sean and I don't hurry up and get this race off, we're going to race first off the trailer on a real green road. And that road may be dusty from all the cars driving up and down while we're not here. I'm going to let him go by because he's doing two burnouts. I'm just going to do one. You might need your windshield wipers. All right, rain. Stay. All right, we're going up that way. OK. We're still racing? He's asking we're still racing. He's asking me? Yeah. I'm good. Let's do it. Yep, Sean says yeah. So let's get this done at least. I need to see if what the car's going to do. That way, I'll have a couple of days to make sure it's going to go straight. Hey, it ain't worth it. No way I'd race in this. Look at that. Tell me that road ain't wet. Don't do it. Oh, pouring now. It's up to Ryan. I'm not going to tell Ryan whether he should race his car or not. It's pouring rain back here. Is it not raining up there? Come here. Hey, Ryan don't want to race, y'all. OK, I'm good with that then. I just don't want to I would race. never tell somebody to race their car if they don't feel comfortable. I've been in rain in this bitch. Hey, let's roll this down. I'm going to pull it in.
Ryan can only hide for so long. That's how funny it is. Ryan, Javi's such a good dude, man. He'd have fought you to the end to not let you do that. My guy's standing at the starting line going, well, come on. Yeah. I said, <laughs> do this or what? I, I'm looking past Dave going, <laughs> and he's, I'm like, Javi, he's like, I don't know. Let me find Sean. I don't know. No, that man, don't do it. I'm yeah. like, I don't know. You and know, I bet, I bet. But, but you know, if you're me, that's a good time. This is the only shot you got. You know what I mean? Look, if he's going to do it, I'll do it, is what I said. Well, we tried. See you all win. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, from what I hear. I, hear. I got to put Rod. Guys, I get an extra day. The rain clouds already bias. I mean, that's what I'm. It's already bias. It quit. Like, <sighs> yeah, it's not raining right now. Yeah. You think any of that rain got on the road? Nah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they got that big bully, that a big tarp dog on. thing. But what's it look like up there? The old tarp go. strung out that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was that? That, <laughs> that don't sound good. It's wet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So there's a little bit of a rain delay. It's not gonna affect me at all. Uh, I, at this point, I have a good tune-up for the car, and it's basically the fastest tune-up that I have. Wonder if anybody's got radar. See if anything else is coming. So on this road out here, I have to try something against Ryan. Ryan's been making good fast passes. He's undefeated at this time, and I've got to take a shot at it. Oh, yeah, we probably should go. We'll be out of here before anything else comes. Oh, 3 o'clock? Yeah. Oh. So it looks like the rain came in and went pretty quick. So there wasn't much rain on the ground to dry up. Looks like it's dried off pretty well. I think we can get this race off. That murder, no, I rhyme. I'm kicking your ass, Avi. I bet a half track it looked like a different picture. Yeah. Holy <laughs> what's the call on that deal? Stand yeah, I told you. Say? Stand by. Murder, no, and Ryan Martin. That yeah. close. Stand by again. Yeah, He's yeah, nervous. No, get... Luckily, have a car. Woo! Nice job. Hey. Son of a car. Hey, good job, man. Damn. That's a huge <laughs> change. That was legit. Break a lick. I mean, I shook on the big end, and you know, of course, you drove around me. But yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. compared, to I thought you were. I, I honestly, to... your car's black, so I was like, I thought I saw you for a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You might have been out on me. I don't know. I think, I think I, if I didn't jump, yeah. it was really close. So I'm pretty sure that I, I was out on yeah. you for a little bit. Yeah, did you make it. a good one though? Yeah, no, it was a good pass. Oh, I you did? It up. Yeah. It okay. Was, it was a, okay. It was a clean. Checked out, and it was, and I turned Wasn't it up. It good. So. It got, it got a little bit squirrely when it got out there, and then. Shook, man. I don't. Why the is it shaking? Could you tell, like, you got your boost back and everything? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think so. At least I got some data now. Right. You know, I can at least go look. Of course, my question right now is: Is Murder Nova fast or is Ryan slow? Exactly. We know Murder Nova's not fast. Right. Right. Am I right? Yeah. We don't really know what the car is going to do, considering the first two passes are worthless. We let off the button. I left on Ryan. It shakes a little bit, but I couldn't be happier with how the car's doing. I just got beat by a car against Ryan. So 
I'm gonna have to figure something out and figure it out fast on how to go faster on this road than I've ever even been at the track. Watch your back. Get this old girl turned up. Hey, if it wouldn't have shook on the big end, I 100% felt it lay over because it shook. So when it shakes, man, it just it ain't accelerating. But hey, we're gonna get some data now and we're gonna see what happens. But we got we got to figure out. I need this valve cover off. So I had to uh, get the OG out. I swapped it back to big tires. I've been testing it. Put the old I'm car. pulling the new car off. And putting the old car Putting on. the old car on, if possible. And I'd like to call out Boosted. OK, so, so now Sean's back on with the OG and called you out. OK. All right. Great. It's a pretty bold move, bringing the OG. The car was too slow, and that's the reason I built a new one. It's still going to have all those same problems that it had whenever I pulled it off the list. But at this point, I've got to start winning, and this is my best option. Hey, what's dripping? Where's it coming from? There's a hole in the tank. What? Oh my God. Hold. Hey, tell, tell Boosted, hold up. Ryan. There's a hole in my tank. What do we got? Hole in your tank? There's a hole in the tank. The we gotta tank. put something over it. Yeah. Right. We gotta put something over it real quick. First night back with the OG out on the streets and uh, we're having problems already. We knew it wasn't gonna be easy getting this car back from the dead, but we got a hole in the fuel cell. That's like the worst spot ever. And the reason we don't notice it until it's race time is because we don't fill the thing up with fuel until it's time to go to the line. So hopefully this is just a, a easy fix, small problem, and uh, we'll get on to the, some wins. I think it's right there. Can you see it? Oh yeah, I can see a hole. I can, I can see to the outside. Okay. All right, we got another So okay. smear it, gob that, oh, holy Yeah, it's all the way around. We can fill that whole side. So normally this would uh, need need a welder type fix. Okay, now, take that duct tape and go around that. But with Boosted waiting at the starting line for us, we're gonna fill this hole any way we can and silicone, duct tape, whatever it takes, we're gonna get this thing to the line. It's damn sure gonna be pretty, but. Looks like a big old tampon on hey, there. Doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, as long as it works. Couple buses. It feels so good to get this win. Uh, Chief bangs the light. My heart sinks a little bit. Boosted jumped out on me, but I stayed in it and uh, I came around him. And it feels good to be back in the OG and uh, makes me wonder why I ever put it up and took it off the streets. Before we call it a night, there's one more thing we got to sort out. Damon is out here. He's a local street racer with a really fast big tire Camaro and he wants on the list. But Kamikaze is also out here, and the El Camino is on the property. I'm telling you right now, man, if this is a driver's race, 100% Kamikaze winning this deal. I like when it's at odds. Hey. When it's me in that car sometimes, you're kinda, it's not you're so stupid great. stupid like I am. Yeah. Man. You're going to put that, that car in situations most people won't. Yeah. I really don't know anything about this new guy, Damon. Um, I've heard his car pretty fast on the streets, so we'll see. I've put literally everything I have in the El Camino. And when I got from Chief, the car had quite the reputation in the 405. So ever since then, I've been doing everything I can to make this car run up the list. I've got horsepower. I've got a lot better car. Um, now I've just got to prove it. We got yeah, Kamikaze for a shot to take on the list. So we thought that might be an option, you know? I yeah. mean, that was definitely in the play. Chief brought me in because We've been doing street racing, uh, traveling Kansas City, Oklahoma, and done quite successful with the car. He thinks that we've got enough for the list, and we're here to prove that. We just gotta go up there and do what we do normally. I'm willing to pay my dues, I mean. And we'll be in good shape. 
That was a couple of good burnouts right there. That was a couple of good burnouts. This is like the coolest race I've flagged in a while. Uh -huh. you know, it means a lot. It could mean a whole lot. Damn it, Chris. I'd be out of here. We're gonna get an email just to look at you real quick. I'm alright. Huh? Not bad. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Damn it. I'm alright, Justin. No, I didn't die. Why the I tell you to do that? I couldn't let it. I couldn't let it go. Yeah. Damn it, man. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a pretty good one. You didn't see all the destruction that you just walked out down. I a lot of up. I know it because I felt all of it. You okay? Yeah. yeah. All over your face. That was good. It was. It was definitely a. After that first, it was a close your eyes and hold on ride right there. I can't believe I crashed that car. I've had a lot of cars throughout my life. That one's kind of special. It had a little more meaning than your average car and where it came from. So, I let people down. That car was on the damn teaser for this show. I know. It's the reason we have a show. All that could have crashed. That's the one thing I wish I didn't. I appreciate the chance I got to drive that car. It means something to us. Hell, me and Chief have literally done this since we were 15 years old, and I made the choice. I, I knew I was in trouble. Right foot stayed down, and I paid for it dearly. That's literally everything I had my whole life's gone. Damn, you scared the out of me, dude. Sorry, bro. Don't be sorry. Don't. That goes everything I had my whole life. Everything. Everything you had. Literally. You know what I mean? Nothing like it. We all know the risk every time we get behind the wheel of one of these race cars, but it doesn't make it any easier to see one of your buddies destroy everything he's got and everything he's worked so hard for. I brought the guys out to the new road to see who would step up to the challenge and who could make it happen quickly. And a few of us look like we might be getting it figured out while others have no idea. But with everything that went on on the list tonight, the main thing and the only thing that matters is that Kamikaze Chris is walking around on his own two feet and he's still alive.